Thank you, everyone, for coming. Um, this is a, uh, for uh, those who don't know me, my name is Phil Branyi. Uh I'm representing the Crawford County GIS Committee today. Um, what, we, uh, what we're bringing to the table here is we have an interactive GIS website that is available for address and parcel viewing. Um, essentially, uh, the first thing I wanted to do was I wanted to just bring some attention, if you get a moment to, um, we, we have some special thanks going out here at the front board, also in the back of your packets at the door. Um, we had a lot of people working on this, uh, collecting data or creating the infrastructure to get this working, and we definitely want to uh, give appreciation to those folks. Um, if, uh, if you have any questions, I would also ask you to just please hold those to the end. Um, I'll answer any questions at the end of the presentation. Uh, so basically, I'm going to start off at the uh, Crawford County website, which um, at the bottom of the screen is CrawfordCountyPA.net. Uh, to get to this website, uh, you come up to the land and the property link. Um, when you click that, um, we do have uh, what we're considering a, a, uh, our land and property page. It has all the different offices, including the GIS mapping. This brings you to the GIS landing page. Uh, this serves two purposes. Uh, the first one would be um, we have one service available currently. Um, we have uh, a land use service uh, that is probably going to be put up here in the next few months. Um, we will add other web services in the future. This is where you should probably bookmark. That way you can come back and see what other services are available. Uh, we also have a scheduled maintenance here. Um, if the county is doing any kind of maintenance or upgrades, we will do our best to post in this area. So if you're using this for any kind of work-related information, uh, you can plan around that. Um, to get to our address and parcel viewer, uh, you click the link right here. It's going to pop up a new window. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm not going to read this, but it's basically our disclaimer. <laughs> to enter the site, you must agree to the terms. Uh, you click enter to do that. This is best a run off of Internet Explorer. Um, th this will bring up your address and parcel viewer. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just give a quick overview of the site. As you can see down here at the bottom, this is our loading bar. You can see this at various times through the site. Um, when you see this, just be a little patient. Um, it's just loading the information. There's a lot of, of stuff that's going to be pulling from the computer. Um, the loading time may also vary depending on your internet speed. Um, the overview of the site, we have a few links here. Uh, this is the county's main site. Uh, we have a correction f uh, request form, which we'll go over a little later in the presentation and the help. Um, we have some search tools available here. Uh, we have some mapping tools, zooms, and, and other features uh, we can go over a little later and uh, through the presentation. And then we have our layers here. The layers, each layer represents a shape uh, that you see on the map and also information behind it, uh, whether it be airports, mile markers, or whatnot. Um, some of these, such as recreational, have sub-layers underneath of them, uh, campgrounds, hiking trails, fish and boat access, um, police and fire department locations. Um, the current uh, FEMA 100-year uh, flood zone and the preliminary 2009-2010 FEMA flood zone as well. Um, the, uh, the map tools here, uh, we have a zoom tools. This is zoom in and out. Uh, if you click the tool, you can draw a box around an area you'd like to zoom into. Uh, zooming can also be achieved by double-clicking on the map or using this scale slider bar. Um, we have the, uh, the pan tool, which is a hand. Uh, you just click and drag your map around, and this will let you move uh, around the map as needed. Um, as you're doing this, it will start to fill in information. If you've been there on the map before, it'll fill in a little quicker. Um, we have our back and forward. This will take you to the last place the map was and forward to, to where you were just a moment ago. Uh, the XY tool is, is fairly unused in our map here. Um, the magnifier gives you an area where you can zoom in to certain parts of the map, um, staying at your current extent here. The uh, identify tool is used. We can use that in a few moments when we get closer to the map to identify features within the map. We have a ruler. Uh, this does measure at whatever scale you're at. So if you need to find the distance between two points, um, you, draw, you click to draw the line, you double click to stop the line, and it gives you a distance. Then you can change your units of measure by just dropping this box down. Um, this one here does uh, measure uh, an area. And just by cl single clicking, you can create any shape you want 
a double click finishes and you can see the perimeter and the area also dropping the boxes down will change your units of measure. The, um, the uh, tools I have over here uh, were created by the county. Uh, we have searches. You can search by address by typing a 9-1 address or if you have an old rural route number, a post office box, the addresses will give you better results. Uh, you can search by name. The searches parcel names and also names on the addresses. Uh, you can search by a parcel number or a control number, which I will explain the difference when we get closer in the map. Uh, and also, uh, if you have a road name or a legislative township number from a deed, uh, you can search by that. So, for instance, um, I can bring up the search by address bar and you type in an address such as 903 Diamond Park and you click find. What we'll do, um, it'll load your results in the results tray and it'll bring up uh, any results that it finds. If you are living in an apartment building or if you have a business with multiple suites, uh, it will show multiple results for the same address, such as the courthouse as the multiple offices within. So to, to go to where this exists, you right click on your result. It'll give you three options. Zoom to will take it down to a certain extent a predetermined extent, a pan two will take it at the extent we're at, and remove will remove the result from your search <laughs> bar. So we will zoom to. This takes us to a predetermined extent. Now if you need to get closer, you can use either the slider bar, you can double click on the map, oops, you can use the pan tool, you can double click on the map, or you can use the magnifying glass and draw a box around the area that you'd like to zoom to. All the thumbtacks show all the different address points for 903 Devon Park, signifying the offices. Uh, once you get to this point here, if you want to see any more information, um, you just click your box over here, and uh, if you give it a moment, it will display more information, um, such as tax parcels. Um, if you click the Identify tool, you can click any anything, either a, a house structure or a tax parcel, a road name, it'll give you information for that. For instance, behind the courthouse is the First Presbyterian Church. Uh, you drop this down here to expand your results. It gives you a map number. It gives you the control number, which is on your tax bill. Um, it will have your tax bill <coughs> owner name and address, as well as what the land is assessed for, and any building or improvements, what that is assessed for, whether if you have a deed book and page number listed, uh, if they're tax exempt or not, uh, owner under article of agreement, if you're eligible for the homestead farmstead, um, as well as a sale date and a sale price if we have it loaded in the system through our county assessment office. Um, this information um, can be, you can derive information by clicking that or, like I said, you can click the address point itself. Um, if you hold your mouse up to the result, you will see there's another drop down. This identifies anything else that is turned on over in the map contents, such as the municipal boundaries. Right now we have voting turned on. If you happen to live at 890 Liberty Street, uh, you would vote at the uh, courthouse. You're in uh, the second ward, sec second district of the uh, voting. Um, we also have loaded in here uh, school districts. If you are interested in what school district, you simply turn that on. You re-click for results and when you drop this down school districts is now available and this will show you the school district that you belong to and the administrative office address to make contact. Um, so basically um, that is uh, you can also do that for like I said you can do a parcel number for instance if I typed 3901-059 dash one, uh, you click find, whoops, looks like that didn't want to work. Um, we can choose a road name um, such as Church Street and this will bring up any church streets in the county. Uh, this will bring up any results where Church Street exists, whether it be North and South Church Street or simply Church Street East and West. Again, you can right click zoom to 
and uh, it'll take you there. Now this is broken up into road segments, so the, even though there may only be one Church Street in Venango Borough, if it's broken up at any intersection, it'll show each as a result, as you can see by the red lines there. Um, we also have uh, very popular results um, that could derive a lot of different uh, searches, cemeteries, and landmarks. Um, what we've done here is we have these loaded as a drop down. Um, this way you can um, go through the results, find a cemetery that you're looking for, hit find, and then you right click on it and zoom to. And this should take you, oops, this should take you to your cemetery. And um, you can turn the cemetery layer on in your map. Uh, it's, it's grayed out at the moment because we're not close enough to the cemetery. Uh, you just zoom in and you can see that this cemetery is right outside Crossingville. And now you can turn the cemetery on and there it is. Uh, the other feature is landmarks. These are popular areas within the county, uh, known locations. Um, such as uh, Colonel Crawford Park, uh, certain hills and corners, um, popular sites. Uh, I'll bring up Colonel Crawford Park to show. Uh, if we zoom to this location, we'll zoom in here at the Pima Tuming Campgrounds and the Crawford County Campgrounds. Uh, we have a lot of summer activity at those areas. So another thing that we've done, uh, we have added the campsites uh, that are available. And if you're interested on in what each symbol means, you just came over to your map contents, you drop down recreational and you open campgrounds and this will show you the symbology of what these all mean. So if you're looking for the site by the restrooms, if you're looking for a non-electric site, an electric site, and whatnot, you can easily find these from the map also by the, the number. So um, the last thing I will show is the, uh, the print function on the map. Uh, what this is, you can uh, write anything you'd like on here. You can choose whether it's a large, medium, or small map. You can add any of the search results that you've brought in here. Um, such as the landmark here, and you click Create Print Page. Uh, what would happen, um, it takes a moment to render the image. Uh, sometimes you have to close and reopen if it doesn't uh, immediately do this. It's sometimes a little touchy, but uh, it'll bring up a customized print page uh, with your image. Um, any of the symbology that is turned on is a legend as well as the name. And then that can be printed off on 8x10 paper. Um, these are a, a somewhat uh, standardized print. Uh, you can get more custom maps here at the courthouse, but for just personal use at home, this, this works very well. Um, a few other links that we'd like to show off the page. Uh, we have the GIS correction request form. If you're uh, searching or painting around the map and you believe that you found an error, whether it be an address or a property line or a landmark or whatnot, um, if you click this link here, um, it will enable you to send uh, the county your request. Uh, we do need contact information in case we have further questions. We ask people to fill this out as detailed as possible. Uh, we have our primary corrections here, but if it's on a layer such as a cemetery or whatnot, you can click the map layers, office responsibilities, and we do have a list of which office maintains which layer, so you can come back into here and add your mark. Uh, this will be uh, a 9-1 issue uh, because it's an, an address or road name, or it could be a parcel boundary. You fill out your information, give us a brief description, and hit submit. Uh, we will contact you within 28, 24 to 48 business hours just to let you know that we've received it. We will do our best to make the correction in a timely manner after that. The, um, the other link that I wanted to highlight was our help link. Um, in the searches, uh, the search is very specific due to the, the way the data is entered in our system. So the help link will be valuable to you until you can get used to that. 
the top section of our help here, all of this is to use the tools that I've gone over on the map. The um, frequently asked questions and the tips and tricks are more customized to our mapping application here. The tips and tricks page, we do have information on how to search properly for addresses. Um, we do have to spell out highway instead of using abbreviations. There's no punctuation. Um, if you live on an extension of a street, there is a certain way to spell that as well. Um, you can go through and read this. This will give you sometimes less is more um, if, if you're trying to find information. Uh, we also have our frequently asked questions. Uh, we will be adding to these uh, as we feel the need with questions coming back to the county. Uh, this will answer a lot of the basic questions such as the age of the imagery and other questions on the map. So um, at that time, I'm going to go ahead and open up if anybody has any questions on the mapping uh, or the use of or the data. Does anyone have any questions? Phil, yes. the, is there something that's requiring us to provide that for the public? Yes, this is um, the Open Records Act, the Freedom of Information Act. Um, it doesn't require us, uh, it requires us to have open records to the public as far as uh, availability. Um, what this does is, this is a benefit to the public. Um, instead of having to come to the courthouse to find this information, um, you can derive current owner information strictly from the site. Um, it, it's not by law required to have the website available, but to be able to have the information out there uh, via paper or digitally is required by the state. In addition to the searches you showed us, you can search by name as well, is that correct? That is correct. You can search by uh, name, uh, address, parcel, or road name, or legislative township number. Any other questions? <coughs> no? Okay, well I'd like to thank everyone for coming down to the presentation. Um, if you have any further questions, please explore the help, or you can contact the courthouse. We'll see what we can do to help you out. Thank you.